Hello beautiful bookworm friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my December wrap up. Yeah. In the month of December I read four books which is really good considering that it was a very busy time. Two of them were quite short books anyway, that's probably why I managed to read four books. But anyway, let's get on with the video. So the first book I read in the month of December was Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare and I give this book four out of five stars. This is the first book in the Infernal Devices and I have to say I prefer this to the Mortal Instruments. I particularly like the automatons, is that how you say it? So the robots, I thought that was something different. We are so used to the vampires and the werewolves and the other warlocks automatons. I thought they were very interesting and it really adds on and builds up the world, the Shadowhunter world that Cassandra Clare has created. I was very curious with Gems illness and also with Tessa's abilities in this book and the TV show makes sense to me now because when I was watching it the vampire leader is Camille is that her name and I've never come across that in the mortal instrument I mean I read the city of bones and I could swear that the leader's name is Raphael I can remember him tricking them into the lair and so I was thinking who's Camille and also Charlotte Branwell like I was thinking what I don't know these people I thought they were just added you know as TV shows do they just add characters to make the TV show more interesting now it makes sense but does that mean that it completely gets rid of the chances of making this trilogy a series so I'm curious anyway Overall, I enjoyed this and I love the plot twist as well. I wasn't expecting that plot twist, um, which is good. It tends to be predictable, but this one wasn't, so I really enjoyed that one. So the second book I read in the month of December was Invisibility by Andrea Kramer and David Leviton, and I give this book two out of five stars. I just didn't like it. I don't know why I didn't see the magic side of this story. I thought this was sci-fi. I thought that the character was invisible or was born invisible as a result of an experiment gone wrong. I wasn't expecting magic, I wasn't expecting the magical reasons and I mean the word cursed was in the blurb. I just thought oh he felt cursed because he was invisible. I was so convinced that this was sci-fi, I don't know why. <laughs> um, I did enjoy the beginning of the book where we get to see Stephen as an invisible person, how he lived as an invisible person and it was really sad because you know he just lost his mom and now he's all alone. And then he meets Elizabeth who moves in next door and that was interesting as well because you can see how he changed because obviously this is the first time that someone um, notices him or sees him, even his parents doesn't know how he looks like so it, that was interesting. But then the insta love normally the insta love doesn't bother me but in this case it did because it wasn't it weren't even a hundred pages into the story the girl is already saying I've fallen in love with Steven um I just that bothered me and then when she finds out that he's invisible her reaction was oh my god get out you lied to me and I was thinking wow true love I don't know if it's just me but I felt that I would be more curious as to why he's invisible and why I I can see him and others can't other than the fact that he liked me. And then afterwards everything just became confusing. It just reminded me of beautiful creatures because there's curse casters and I can't even remember what she was, something seeker. Um that you know she can actually see these curses and she can eliminate these curses because she's very very special. She's a very special snowflake. And towards the end I still don't understand why she's the only one that can see him. And I also read Poker Kingdom, The Smile of the Harlequin by V. Servilla. I was given a free copy of this novel in exchange for an honest opinion and I give that book 2 out of 5 stars. Overall it just left me confused. It had so much potential. When I was reading the blurb it caught my eye because it had something to do with elemental magic and I love elemental magic. I thought it was very clever that the title of the novel is Pocket Kingdom when the kingdoms um, are named after the cards so diamond, heart, spades and clubs in each of these kingdoms are elements. So this book is very very short. It has 91 pages I believe. I mean it is an ebook so I'm not really sure but when I was reading the table of contents it did say 91 pages. Um, I found the villain very intriguing. He is a shapeshifter. First half of the book concentrates on introducing all the characters and there is a lot of characters in this 
book and I thought that was a bit problematic because you know if you have a lot of characters there is a tendency that you're not going to be able to concentrate and develop all these characters unless you have you know a series overall I just didn't understand the plot I didn't understand why Odin who is the villain is trying to collect or steal all these elements yes I understand that he probably wants the destruction of the kingdom but what is it for him and I didn't understand his notori notoriety because he is you know he, he is the Harley Quinn and he's meant to be notorious but I didn't understand why he was notorious what did he do there's no build up and I really wanted a build up um, everything was just going by so quickly I don't know if it's just me reading a lot of books that has royalties in it but the way they talk to the king I was thinking he's the king surely they should be beheaded for this so I didn't understand where that plot twist came from it was just everything confusing you didn't understand oh there's a plot twist and it's like again another thing that i can't understand <laughs> lastly i read the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy by douglas adams and i give this book five out of five stars i absolutely love this book it's a sci-fi comedy just love how it twists logic um, it's really funny like many of us they are seeking the answer the ultimate answer to life what is life what is the purpose of life and <laughs> after billions of years this ultimate computer smarter than anyone managed to answer or find an answer to this question of what is life and the answer is 42 but we didn't we don't have the right questions so now we have to find the right questions or i guess it's one way of saying you have to ask the right question to answer like we all have the answer we just don't have the right questions and it was really funny it was very weird as well it was very random i know it's a sci-fi but it involves um whales petunias and mice so yeah very very interesting um i loved it and i recommend everyone to read this i think there's about five books in this series so i can't wait to read them and they're very short as well um this is less than 200 pages and I'm quite ashamed because I was reading this book as part of the holiday readathon but I didn't expect um, those three days to be very very um, busy so I only finished this <laughs> within those three days so I'm very ashamed but at least I managed to finish one. Anyways guys that is it for me for today I hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I shall see you guys soon bye!